Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a DIY hair mask. It is a coconut hair mask and I am going to be comparing it to my normal Cantu hair mask. Um, I love this hair mask so much. It's super good for your curls. It's really, I mean, I just love it. But I, I just wanted to try something different. And also another concern I had, sorry my cat. <laughs> jumped up here. Another concern that I had is that it has a crap ton of products in it. And though some of them are really good, don't get me wrong, I don't understand what all of them are. And it may be just all great products, but I don't know. Um, so I decided I wanted to do a DIY mask because I knew exactly what products were going into it, exactly how much. There were no, there were no like unanswered questions in my head I guess you could say so um this is gonna be the video on that I hope you guys enjoy it but yeah let's get into it all right everyone so like I said I am doing a do it yourself video DIY that's what it is right DIY yes DIY I am not in no shape or form a DIY type of girl. I am the type that <laughs> you make it, I buy it. I don't like making things, like, no. But I have gotten to the point in my life that I want to know what's going into my hair, what's going on in my body, what I'm eating, things like that. So usually I use this one. This is the mask I usually use, like, I keep this on deck always have at least one of these in my house at all times just in case my hair needs it in case I use a new product like this mousse coconut stuff that sucks okay people like dried out my hair just like I said like so I decided I was gonna do a mask and I was like oh you know Shea Moisture or Shea Moisture can too not Shea Moisture they're a great company and I love, I really, I've used this mask a lot and I love it. I do. It works great. And you know, it says no sulfate, silicones, parabens, or mineral oil, which is great. So I was kind of just sitting there like, okay, so it has all these great things. So what's in it? Yo, look at all this whole little section right here. This, this little thing. It's ingredients. And though some of them, some of them sound great. Others of them, I'm just kind of like, what is that? And is it good to be in my hair? Do I need to Google like all of these to figure out if it's good to be in my hair? Because I was looking at some of the masks today and some of them have alcohol in them, like forms of alcohol and alcohol dries out your hair. Like, what? So you know what? I was like, no. No, no, no. Let me try something new. So I found, <laughs> very simple because I didn't want to mess it up, DIY homemade frizz control mask for your hair. It literally has three ingredients. Just three. Just three. And this, this retails around, I want to say maybe $2 after tax to something. I don't know. Um, the mask that I'm making, um, it includes coconut milk, which it has, it's upside down right now, sorry. But, um, that was like a dollar something honey, it's upside down too, <laughs> which I had, um, I don't really, I don't know how much honey cost, I don't know. And it called for lemon juice and I went to Target to get this stuff. And for some reason, I couldn't find lemon juice, so just got a lemon. But, um, yeah, this is it. Just these three things. That's it. And I'm going to tell you guys real quick. So, there were several masks that I looked at. Um, the only reason I chose this mask, it wasn't even because I found ones that were simpler. Like, that's not a big deal. I chose this one because... I love coconut oil, milk, anything with coconut in it. Love it. I've said it before. I just love it. So, 
it tells you why um this is off of fab how if you just look up ways or diys for frizzy hair um this is what comes up it's a on fab how and it is on coconut milk hair mask and it says that the coconut milk nourishes and moisturizes the raw honey you guys I don't know how to say this word. Um, acts as a it's good for your hair. I don't know how to say that word. It's good for your hair. Um, and the lemon juice, or yeah, the lemon juice promotes hair growth and treats dandruff. I do not have dandruff, so don't even no. Um, but yeah, so why not do that? Um, so. Uh, okay, so this is kind of a big deal. Um, so it just informed me that this has hair lightening in it. So if you use this a lot on your hair and you have dark brown to black hair, it's going to lighten it. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, I mean, I don't really care, honestly. Lighten my hair. But I got my little bowl. I got all this. And I'm going to be right back. I'm going to combine all this together. So you need a half a lime, um, half a cup of coconut, and one teaspoon of, I think it's stuck, one teaspoon of honey. So I'm going to get this all in the bowl and whisk it together and I will be right back. Okay, so I got it all in the bowl. Now I'm whisking it. You guys, you know, I did say I love um, coconut. I think I've, I've mentioned that. Um, but I didn't realize how thick, I mean, it makes sense, but how thick coconut milk is. I don't think I've ever had to use it for anything. So, yeah. Um, also, my smart self, I just squeezed the lemon in here. And I forgot about the seeds. So before you guys do that, um, maybe just use, just make sure, you know, there's no seeds in your little thing. And it smells gross. It smells like baby formula. Okay. So, um, so it says use a, put it through your hair. Um, the lady they're showing on the photo, it's funny because she's like got straight, straight hair. So we'll see. Uh, so you're going to cover your hair and you're going to work it through it. I don't really know. They use like a little brush. I don't have that. It's like a painting brush. That's what it looks like. And then they say to cover your head for 25 minutes and rinse it out and style your hair. So we'll see. We'll see if this works. We'll see if the all natural way is better than my normal way. I don't know. So let's see how I'm about to listen, see my hair is just oh it's just been one of those days. One of those days with my hair. Just one of those days, period. Alright. So I did bring a comb with me right here. This is my other comb. I like using it when I'm in the shower or for mask because it's rounded off at the end and it doesn't like pull my hair so bad. So I'm gonna brush it out. Oh, this is gonna be a process. And because mine's not that thick, I don't know how you guys made yours. Mine didn't come out super, super thick because I didn't use a lot of honey, first off. And even though the coconut milk is thick it's not like like this one is like a conditioner like it's really thick you can just lay it through your hair and the lady they're showing on here is doing it but she has super straight hair so I don't know maybe you can just pour it like if you're in the shower or you're in an area that you can do that just pour it on there I don't, I don't even know how I'm about to do this I do have a towel though so maybe I can be your guys' um, learning so that you don't have to go through all this. So I'm just going to cover right here. And we'll see how this goes. I don't know. I 
I don't know. Let's see. But yeah, um, while I'm brushing this out, you know, it's gonna be a process. I went by Ross today, and you know what I found? I found, where is it? These. This one, this one, and this little one. And they were freaking 12 bucks. All three of these, they came in a set. $12, you guys. And I went by Target after Ross, and let me tell you, not $12 for all three of these. So if there's a Ross by you, they usually sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, because they probably get snatched up. They have um, good little finds. So what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try to just dip my comb and brush it through. I guess a brush would work better, but my hair is dry right now. That moose, you guys. Like, I don't know how much more I could tell you guys. It's just not, it's not the business. So it's on my comb. And um, yeah, it works. It's gonna be a process though. Yeah, so I'm going to sit here for a freaking hour and I'm going to do this and I'll be back again with the end results. I am basically right now, I'm just gonna work it through my entire head and then I will let it sit for the 25 minutes. Then I'll go take a shower and all that. Let it air dry and I'll be back. Okay, so this is my in-between video. I wanted to show you guys how I'm doing it. Um, literally, I'm just pouring it on. Like I tried it with a brush, tried it with a comb, and it's just not staying. So now I'm just taking it slowly. Learn that lesson too. Do this shit slowly. Um, and I'm just hitting in the root, moving it slowly. Like so. And that was fast, that was really fast. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing, and then I go like this. And like, almost immediately when it touches your hair, it feels kinda, feels kinda, you know, soft. It starts feeling good, but I gotta um, finish, especially back here. If you have curly hair, this should probably be a focus zone. Can you guys see that? Focus on that. But yeah, just wanted to do a little in between and I'll be back with the final product. Hey everyone, so I finished with the hair mask and I have come to my conclusion on how I feel about the coconut milk hair mask. Um, so I actually had to have like a an epiphany, like not an epiphany, but like a realization. So I was comparing it to my Cantu mask and this is like a full repair on mask. It's supposed to be for dry, brittle hair. If your curls are just out of control, that's what it's supposed to handle. Um, and the coconut milk mask, it even says it in there, it's just handling the frizz on your hair. So I think it's almost unfair that I compare the two because this one is saying it does a lot more than just controls frizz. Um, so I think with the coconut milk mask, it worked. Um, it made my hair a little dry at first. I was kind of concerned. I was rinsing out the mask. And whenever I use coconut, I just expect like a silky, nice, like I'm finished and freaking, ooh, so nice, right? But it was a little bit dry. Um, then I, I followed the instructions. I used my normal styling products and I just let it air dry and it's coming out perfectly fine. Like my hair is not super frizzy. It feels like my normal curls. I don't feel the mousse in it anymore, which is so good. Like, cause I didn't, I was just gonna wash the mousse out like with shampoo and conditioner, but it wasn't my wash day yet. So I was like, hmm, decisions. So this was actually a great alternative to that. It nicely, it did its job. I'm not going to lie. Like my curls feel perfectly fine. They're still a little bit wet, but you can already see that they're, they're, they're fine. Um, so I would definitely recommend, recommend this. I just don't want to give false expectations on it. Just know that it is just a frizz control mask. And it's not going to sit there and repair seven years of damage. 
or anything like that in your hair. So just be prepared for that. But yes, I do definitely recommend the mask. It's good, it's quick, it's easy, you know, and once it comes out, you rinse it out, you and you really just you need to style it with your normal products. It's perfectly fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.